Hello everyone and welcome once again to uh, Tuesday watercolour painting class. Uh, today we're going to have a go at uh, sunflowers. Um, I'll put a list up of um, all the colours I've used um, so that you know uh, what you need to get together. Um, so let's get cracking. The outline drawing for this painting is on my website at karenstudio.co.uk on the uh, online demos page and you'll find um, it's available there to download free of charge. So um, I've uh, sketched it out as you can see it's much paler than the um, outline drawing. Uh, this is so your pencil marks don't show through when uh, you've actually done your painting. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet the entire page with some water. Now I'm going to paint in quite loosely um, lots of yellow and this is cadmium yellow, uh, just a weak wash over the areas where the sunflowers are. I am not at this stage going to be painting individual petals, just um, roughly where they are. Whilst that's still wet, uh, I've mixed a little bit of cobalt blue with some alizarin crimson and I'm now going to paint into some of the spaces. And in the middle of the painting I'm just going to use cobalt blue I'm just going to put a little bit of alizarin crimson, just a little bit here and there to give it a bit, bit more interest. Now I've got a bit of a run so I'm just going to mop that up and then leave it all to dry. Right, so that's nice and dry now. So using some more yellow I'm just going to um, Brighten up some um, 
and add some more colour into some of the petals. While well, that's still damp, I'm just going to drop in one or two little streaks of orange into some of the petals. Right, so we let that dry a little and now moving on to the leaves. I'm just going to put a pale wash of um, sap green on them to start with. Right, while that is still wet, I'm going to drop a little bit of yellow into those leaves here and there. The next thing we're going to do is um, start working on some of these centres. So we'll start with the one and wet it just with a little water. And into that, um, with a mix of the cobalt blue and alizarin crimson. Let's put some dots in around the outside and you see how it runs. Now we'll take a little bit of burnt sienna and just pop that in as well. It's a nice bit of 
interest in change of colour. Right, so carry on doing them all and um, come back and join me in a minute when we've done them. Before that's dried, um, I've just mixed up some cobalt blue and burnt sienna and I'm putting some more in. Um, slightly thicker mix so um, it doesn't spread so far and you won't get run backs. If you put it in too thin you could get run backs. So just on the top of that we're just putting in some more detail. Give us a bit of texture. Right now we're going to turn our attention to the background again and using cobalt blue just going to strengthen up the middle a little bit um, and here and there put in a little bit of the alizarin crimson so we just work around some of the leaves through the middle like so and here and there drop in a little bit of the Lizarding crimson and just let them merge together on the paper. And anywhere I want them to fade it out, just add some water and pull the water down. There we go, just fade it away. Okay, so continue doing that and just strengthening up those background colours, particularly through the middle area. Don't worry about the edges so much, um, they can fade away. Right, now I'm just going to work back into some of the flowers and I've got um, a little bit of cadmium orange here and I'm just going to add a touch of the cobalt blue to it just to grey it down a little and you see how that sort of greyed it off a little bit and that's going to form the shadows uh, behind the petals so we've got some petals on the top and some underneath so if you have a look at your um, picture and how your petals have developed underneath some of the petals just put a little bit of shadow and if you just put a little bit like that and then a little bit of water just to fade it away it brings that petal forward all right so just carry on and do that and um, just develop the flowers a little bit
Right, so having worked back into the flowers uh, a bit more, concentrated more in the middle, getting a bit more detail in the middle, a little less on the outside, and that just draws the eye in to the um, areas with more detail. And now I'm just going to add a bit more colour into the leaves, so a bit more sap green, and um, just strengthen those up and also a little bit on one side of the stem. And then you add a little bit of plain water to the other side and just allow that colour to run across. So you end up with one side slightly darker than the other, but not a definite line. You just do all of those. Right now working back into the leaf. Right, I think uh, that's finished. Again, if you want to, you could carry on working into it. But I quite like the looseness, I quite like the background. And um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed following along with me and uh, having a go at this. Um, if you did, please um, hit the subscribe button and um, I will see you all again, hopefully next Tuesday for another watercolour painting session. See you then!